So earlier in this course, I touched on a number of challenges that developers, architects, engineers, contractors, and owners face when adopting BIM. In some measure, higher returns on investment depend on recognizing and addressing some key challenges. These include adapting processes to BIM, the need to coordinate between teams, providing support for cultural changes, and getting up the learning curve. The McGraw-Hill study adds credence to these points. Consider some of these statements. While BIM can provide benefits to individual team members, most users recognize that its collective use on projects are what can drive better results. So in other words, improved coordination between teams is essential. The report goes on to say that to leverage the highest potential of BIM, teams should institute a collaborative or integrated approach to design and construction rethinking traditional roles and workflows. In other words, implement cultural change. To find better ways and faster ways to communicate ideas, reduce errors, and increase productivity, i.e. adapting the organization's processes to BIM. The report also stresses, more than anything, BIM users are looking for basic skills. So, here's a checklist of things to consider to really help drive a higher return on invest in investment for BIM. First, invest in your own and your organization's knowledge of BIM and model-based design. BIM in your organization needs to be more than a marketing buzzword. Also, select your partners carefully. In the study, 60% of users say that having more BIM knowledgeable companies on a project is a key to success. Work out your processes and procedures between partners. This includes both software and organizational interoperability. Have a plan and work out the issues on smaller projects first. Choose your designers who will be the BIM experts. Your project's design professionals need to really know their stuff. These folks are in the hot seat to get the model right, which is a critical success factor for model-based design projects. Now, one way to move ahead successfully with BIM is to walk before you run. And there's a concept called BIM implementation stages, which is explained in the next section. This section defines a recommended path for you to begin walking.